I'm Jennifer. And we're the O'Neill Sisters. And we're celebrating the 50th birthday of Mod Podge with a really fun decoupage project. We're going to show you how to decoupage on glass jars. We'll show you everything you need to decoupage on glass. We'll show you how to apply the Mod Podge to the images so you can put them inside the glass. And we have a special tip we're going to share for decoupaging with larger images like backgrounds. And if you have any questions while you're working on your jars, go ahead and leave us a comment and we'll reply. We're here to help. Let's get started. To decoupage the jar, you'll need to get a jar and you want to pick out one you can fit your hand inside of. And you also need some pretty papers because we're going to cut images out from the papers. These are just scrapbook papers. You'll also need Mod Podge, scissors, some masking tape, a pencil, and a craft paintbrush. The first step is to cut out images out of the scrapbook paper that you want to use on your jar. And we like to use little delicate scissors like this for the little detail work. You can use manicure scissors or just small scissors. And we went ahead and cut out the images that we liked already just so we can get started. We cut out a bird to be in the center of our design and we cut out some butterflies and flowers. And then we also made some branch shapes. They just look like S's here, but we're gonna use them as branches. And we just did that out of green paper. And so what we wanna do is mock up a design. Maybe this is like a branch here. Oh, that looks good. And that's a little extra branch. And then we can put the bird on the branch. And then the flowers and things, they don't actually have to be attached to the branch. They can just be visually near the branch like that. Same with the leaves here. Make room for a leaf here. Yeah, it makes it look a little more modern. Yeah. And then we can put some butterflies around like that. Pretty. And what we're going to do is make the design in a straight line so it'll go around the jar in a straight line. And so this gives us a guideline for how we want our design to look. We're almost ready to start doing our decoupaging, but first we want to do a little trick to help us with our design. And what we're going to do is take masking tape and mask off the top and bottom of our jar. And the idea there is that the masking tape is going to help us stay within these sort of guidelines. So I'm just going to wrap that around the top. And we'll do it around the bottom too. And this is going to just give us a, an area to work within on the inside of the jar. And then we'll just pull the tape off when we're done. There we go. That's great. So now we know that this is where we want to put our images. We're going to work on the inside of the jar here. And before we put our first image in, we want to see that there's a, a seam here. There's a seam on the other side, so I've got it set here, so I'm going to work here. So the seam's not going to be in the middle of the image. And the first item we want to decoupage is our bird, because that's our central image. The bird is going to be on the inside here, and all the other images are going to go behind it and layer behind it. If we were decoupaging on the outside, we'd start with the back pieces first. The branch would go first and then the bird. But because we want to work on the inside, the bird goes first. And to decoupage, you take your Mod Podge, which is the craft paintbrush, and you put a layer on the front of the image. And we like to use a little more Mod Podge than you'd think you'd want to use. And that just helps with wrinkles. It kind of keeps the wrinkles out. Yeah, and we'll be pressing all this extra Mod Podge out of the way, so you, it will dry clear. And here, here's my bird. Mod Podge is on the top of the bird because we're going inside, like I said. And I'm just going to find where I, whoop, don't drop your bird. <laughs> I'm going to find where I want the bird to go. This is why I wanted a jar that my hand fit inside of. I've got the bird sitting up right there. That looks great. And I just press it up against the glass. And then I want to take more Mod Podge on the brush and brush the back of the bird. So decoupage you do both sides of the image, the front and the back. And then Mod Podge will dry clear, so don't worry that you're seeing um, white brush strokes yeah, on the glass or that, that you're seeing them in front of the bird. Don't worry about that at all. And then I like to go back in with my finger and just make sure that that image is pressed up against the glass. That way, if there's a pocket of Mod Podge or a wrinkle, I can press it out right now. Crush out air bubbles too. Yes. That's good. 
So that bird looks great. And so the next thing we want to do is take another piece from the design and the branch would be great to do next because it goes behind the bird and then it tells us where we want to put the other items, the flowers and butterflies. And the branch, we're going to do the same way. We're going to take the Mod Podge and put it on the front. If you have trouble with your jar rolling around, you can set it on a bag of beans. Oh yeah, that's a good trick. Like a real bag of beans or rice. That works well. We put a little glue dot underneath it, but yeah. it's kind of still wiggling around. So I've got my Mod Podge on the front of my branch, and I'm just going to reach inside the jar and press the branch up against the glass. And this is where those guidelines really help me, so that I know that I'm in between the top and the bottom in the section where I want the branch to be. Because otherwise you could easily get outside that section. Yes. And then I'm going to paint the back like I did with the bird. And this doesn't have to be neat and tidy. All of this is going to dry clear. That's one of the things we love about decoupage is it's very forgiving. And then I'm going to press it like I did with the bird. I'm going to press this side. You can see there's a little bit of a pocket there. Yeah. So it's there you go. it's got shifted a little bit. So that was good that I went in there and pressed on it. That looks great. So we're just going to keep going this way. We'll take the flower next, for example, and put it on same way, decoupage the front, press it, paint the back, until we have our whole design laid out inside of the jar. We decoupaged all the images to the inside of the jar, and if you want, you could stop right there and let the Mod Podge go ahead and dry clear, and that would be beautiful. But we decided we wanted to put a pretty image behind our bird and our flowers. So we picked out this very pretty handwriting paper um, that's a kind of decoupage paper. And what we did was we wrapped it around the jar to get the length right, marked it with a pencil, and cut it to fit within our little guidelines. And now we're ready to decoupage that behind our bird. So when we did the other images, we put the Mod Podge right on the front of the bird and the flowers and things, and then put them inside the jar. This page is really too big to get it completely wet with Mod Podge and then try to get it inside the jar. It's just a mess to try to do that. So we discovered that a better way is to paint a layer of Mod Podge inside the jar. And this is another example where the guidelines that we put there with the masking tape really help so I can see right where I want to put all of this Mod Podge. I'm going right over the images that we had there before. And I just want to put a pretty healthy layer. The Mod Podge, this uh, decoupage paper that we bought is very tissue-like. It's made ex expressly for doing decoupage. That's our sticky that we put on there to keep it from rolling around. Yep. And so it's going to wrinkle a little bit when it gets wet with the Mod Podge. And using more Mod Podge helps it unwrinkle, believe it or not. It kind of softens the paper. Exactly. And then you're able to press the wrinkles out. And then don't worry if you get some Mod Podge up in other parts of the glass jar. It peels off. So I've almost got my complete layer in here. We like using a, a nice, wide, flat craft paintbrush for this project because it makes the decoupaging go quickly. It goes nice and fast. So that's all completely white inside. You can see I've got all my montage in there. I want the seam to go at the back. So I'm just going to coil this around so that it's smaller than the inside. I'm going to let it uncoil on the inside, and then I'm going to line it up with our guidelines. So I've got it down there at the bottom. I can see through the glass lined up there. This is why I wanted my hand to fit inside the jar. And it's nice and wet in there from the Mod Podge, so I can move this page around a little bit if I need to. I'm just pressing lightly to see if it's where I want it. Looks great. Yeah, it really gives a nice background yeah. to our design. And then I'm going to do another layer of Mod Podge on the back of that piece of paper all the way around. That'll help hold it in place and really make it truly decoupaged onto yes. the jar. And it helps moisten that paper so that we can press out any wrinkles. So I'm just going to go all the way around. A little spot that needs a little extra right there. 
And then now that I have a layer all the way around, I'm going to reach in with my finger and I'm just going to press. I'm, I'm making this motion inside the jar, pressing up against the scrap of paper. And I can see I'm pushing bubbles out. It's pressing the paper flat up against the jar so we don't have any gaps when it dries. That'll give you good adhesion too. Yeah. So I'm just going to do that all the way around the inside of the jar. And then we can remove the masking tape and our little decoupage jar will be done. Our decoupage jars are done and we think they turned out great. Remember, if you have any questions or comments while you're working on your jars, you can leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. And if you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We post new craft videos every week. Happy crafting!